Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back in The Sims 4 with our werewolves. Let's play. And last time we left off with Theo transforming. So this is what we are experiencing right now. He seems to be struggling, drooling. He's just flaming. He's having a having a time. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What's happening? Oh gosh. Somebody was in my way. But like... <laughs> This is a little insane. Hold on. I just want to see this up close. Like, I guess his eyes are closed. He's just drooling. And it's just everything. It, there's, oops, I'm clicking the wrong buttons. Everything is happening. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. That was actually pretty sick. I like that. That was cool. But he is officially in his werewolf. This is kind of creepy. This is super creepy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like what? All right, um, so there he is, <laughs> transformed. Oh gosh, he is. Well, he's a werewolf now, that's fun. Um, <laughs> this is his werewolf form. He clearly has, his scars are just as bad on his werewolf form as they are on him. And he's just, he's just, He's just crazy. I just realized his claws. Pretty cool. Anyway, there he is. Let's see what he gets up to. Um, we were, okay, he's just gonna like rage scratch everything. He's just raging. Okay, all right. Look at this bar is going up. Um, next rank. Okay, so this is his ranking. Oh, did we get another ability point? Nice. Okay, so maybe we can lick ourselves clean now. <laughs> or nap. I feel like him going home is fine. We don't need to nap everywhere, but I do want him to be able to lick himself clean. Alright, so what do we do now? What's he going to do? Is he going to dig? Werewolf. Let's see what he can do. He can mark his territory. Uh, Christopher's calling. Hey, Theo, I've been thinking about getting to know... Okay, I don't know. I don't know him. I just moved here. Don't call me. <laughs> I guess we could scratch some things. Stop calling. Why is everybody calling me? Oh, goodness. Okay. Can we, like, talk to people? Or werewolf brawl? Oh, okay. I like the sound of that. Okay. All right. The mixologist is might just go fight him. All right. Let's see this fight. Oh, where'd he go? Where's he going? Oh, my goodness. He's going. Okay. <laughs> Oh. oh, oh my, oh gosh, I feel like this is very uncoordinated. Okay, I think he's losing, I think he's losing. Oh my, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Everybody's just watching like, oh, hey, it's Lucia. Oh, did he win? He won? Oh no, they despise each other now. Uh-oh. Um, did he get anything out of that, though? Like, werewolf snarl at? Since they already despise each other, like, why not, right? But she is the mixologist. I feel like that's not the best. Okay. Um, fight Celine. Let's fight everybody. We're just, just gonna fight everybody. <laughs> All right. He really just, just, just fought her real good. Okay. So anyway, that was fun. Maybe we can, ooh, wasn't there like a brawl area or something here? Go here savagely. Oh, there's a question. The other room page I'm unable to use this right right now. Okay. Um what if we use the portal potties while we're savaging right now? I guess we can't do that either. Can't do that either. Um oh. What's happening? Oh gosh. Scared. What happened? Where am I? From a first time transformation. Oh no. This is first time transforming here. He's transformed other places other times. Oh my goodness, he is scared. He's fine. Shake it off. Um, he has no clothes on. That's fine. Um, he seems to be doing- why am I pressing all these wrong buttons? 
Get me out. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to press escape. All right, let's um change his outfit. Let's get him back in some, like, we'll put some pants on him, you know? There we go. A little bit better there, bud. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and howl here since we're, we're at the top of the, the tree, the tree, the mountain. I'm going to howl one more time since we're up here. How many times can we howl? Like, oh, only two times, apparently. But he can groom himself, which is good. He's looking at himself clean. Some of these are, like, very nice. Like, very convenient. Kind of wish Sims just had these abilities just generally. So if we mark our territory, obviously that puts hygiene down. But if we howl and we lick ourselves clean... Look at that. Oh yeah, he's a tier two runt. Nice, that's what we needed to get to. All right, Theo is now a werewolf runt. He is starting to get the hang of this werewolf thing. The Sim has a new temperament that affects how he navigates the world and what causes fury to bubble over. Be sure to check out the new abilities too. Ooh. Okay, he has a bad reputation, unfortunately. All right, so we have one ability point, but we have new tiers, and these are gonna, probably going to be like two tier. Oh, they're actually one each. Okay. So there's a somber howl. Being a werewolf is hard. Sometimes it's just got to speak his truth. He'll be able to release a howl, calm down his fury. Um, this one, detect nearby occult sims. Uh, this one is he can control his rampaging. This one, grab a bite so he can eat and hunt. Um this is a good idea what to say curiosity i guess he can eat anything what's this just fresher things to eat i do have one ability point i'm gonna save it i guess i don't know like i feel like we need to do one of these things but i don't know what to do um we'll just wait for now so what's this Anti-capitalist canine. Ever since the beast awakened, doubts about so societal norms have begun to stir. This sim now rejects the daily grind and will gain extra fury if if forced to partake in this endless crushing rat race. And then grumpy wolf sim might need a little extra rest in order to stay balanced. Just don't poke a sleeping wolf. I think it's just time for him to go home. He's had a rough day. He's just had had a rough day. It's been a lot. It was a long day. And... We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, so we're home. Let's get him inside in his comfy bed. Well, somewhat comfy bed. Okay, he's still pretty scared. We have 15 minutes, so maybe he can read something. Just read a little something for now, and then he can go to bed in about 15 minutes. There we go. We'll go to sleep. He needs to rest. He likes his rest. He likes to be by himself. And then when he wakes up, he can go ahead and grab some food or make some food. He's going to have a nice fruit salad. He's going to wake up. He's going to want something super fresh. It's going to be great. <laughs> what a day. Like, that was a lot. A lot to take in. It's the first time changing here in Moonwood Mill. He didn't know where he was at when he woke up, essentially. So it was, it was just a lot. But he's good. We need to... Um, guess get him a bath at this point loves the outdoors cooped up literally we're outside all of that time <laughs> i'll have him take a wild shower after this not that he needs it but he'll be outside so it should be fine i'm gonna take care of that bowl and i guess we will okay he's taking out the trash what should we do today <laughs> um oh gosh there's somebody where is, oh oh it's a vampire oh shoot like what happens with that we don't want to we don't want to go there um no trespassing let's um just love vampires i don't know i think he doesn't really like people coming too but it's fine what shall we do where shall we go um we could go visit the neighbors we can go let's see where are we where do we want to go I'm just seeing if there's any places that we can go that I've missed. What's this? Focus camera on pack leader. Okay, so this is the hangout for this pack. Hmm. Hmm. Sniff and introduce. Maybe he can go introduce himself. Really, this isn't ideal because he doesn't want to be by all these people, but he does want to kind of like get the lay of the land. What is a vampire doing over here? Caleb. 
What's going on? Lou Howell. Alright, Lou. Um, discuss being a werewolf. Like, I guess he's openly a werewolf now. He's made a lot of enemies at this point. Uh, I guess we could share werewolf experiences. And... Uh, tell joke about werewolves. And what else can we do? Werewolf pack has to be f no. Share werewolf experiences again. I don't know if things are going well. They seem to be going well at times. Tell joke about werewolves. Who is this anyway? Rory. I don't remember seeing Rory in human form. Uh, of course, Caleb's here. Um, what shall we do? What shall we do? I kind of want to just like spar with people. Maybe we just need to join a... Are those foxes? What are those? Join a club or something. I don't know. Maybe that'll be the move. Ooh, okay. This is that tunnel. Maybe we should go try the underground tunnels again because we can't explore them when he's in a fury or in raging or whatever. And I want him to explore the tunnels, but we did seem to explore them before and it didn't really work out. We'll navigate the de debris again. Um, Lily's calling. We'll not answer that. I do want him to harvest these mushrooms when he's out. Uh, a lonely howl echoes through, echoes through the underground, bouncing off the tunnel walls every direction. Howl back. Uh, after hearing the lone howl, Theo, the, Theo, Theo boldly answers in a kind, in kind, a howl echoes back a moment later and Theo and the two howlers separated by distance, but together in spirit share a beautiful moment. That's sweet. <laughs> More than once, Theo nearly trips on some old junk. It's too dark to make out what it is. Even after coming across a large pile of old metal, even how rusty it smells, it seems safer to leave it alone. Okay. You can follow the melody or find the fresh air. Let's fi follow the melody. Let's see. Leaving the underground. Okay. Likes gardening. I feel like you would like gardening, yes. Alright, maybe we try one more time to explore the tunnels and just see if it gets us anywhere special. Okay. I think we'll go ahead and follow the garlic this time just to see where that takes us. If it takes us to the same place. You just find it difficult to navigate the tunnels. There are a lot of different smells and tracks and paths. Okay. Does that mean he's going to come out soon? Even as a werewolf, Theo is finding it difficult. Okay. Nothing new there, I don't think. A presence. Unexplainably, Theo feels a twinge of fear. He looks around in the dark tunnel but can't see anything that may have caused the sensation. Still, it feels like someone is watching. What a creepy feeling. That sure is creepy. A scent of garlic leads down a twisting tunnel. Eventually, Theo runs into a large metal box of some sort. Okay, he's scared. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and we're at the end of the tunnel. So, let's go ahead and mark our territory. Nice. All right. I don't know if there's much else to explore. Um, I don't know how far. Like, it doesn't look like the edge of the world goes any further here. We do have, like I said, um, that guy's pack over here. Maybe we just, maybe we can ask to be a part of the, the club. <laughs> um, Christopher, hey, um, werewolf pack. Let's just ask to be a friend. I don't know if that means we're like joining the pack, but we're going to paw a plate. Sorry, Theo. I don't know you well enough yet. Let's get a chance to know each other a little bit better first. Okay, that's fine. Uh, how about we ask about hobbies? Okay, he's leaving. Oh, where's he going? Okay, heartfelt compliment. There's got to be like a cloud gaze here. We, we can uh, hang out. Ask a cloud gaze. I feel like that's just the window to the soul these days, you know? Werewolf. Oh, that's what we want to read. We want to take that book. I want that book, man. Put it down. Okay, um... We're going to read that. So him and Christopher, we're, we're getting to know each other. So that's good that he lives nearby. And then the pack hangs out nearby so that they he, when they are ready and when he is ready, he can... Oh, we've got something here. A howl echoed through the alleys. 
In a second, Dolph was down all on all fours and gave the chase. His moon, the moon, his stolen companion, soul companion. I can't read today. His soul companion, gleaming off his fangs, giving speed to his legs. Like a snake, the alleys seemed to coil and cross over one another until his head felt as hazy as a local nightclub. Dolph would retreat to when all got to be too much. Suddenly, there was a dumpster in front of him, something atop it glinting in the moonlight. For some unknown reason, Detective Dolph felt drawn to it. He edged closer until he came upon the shattered mirror, reflecting back a man he did not know himself. There seemed to be entire passages along the pages written in an indecipherable language. The only thing Theo can make out are some symbols. That look like the moon. Hmm. Interesting, sir. Okay. I guess we'll just hang on to I want to hang on to this book. Uh, maybe we go here. Can we take it? We can only read it. He's reading it. Maybe can we go home with it? Just carry it home? Nope. <laughs> Theo does not own this item. I wonder if it just like sits here. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out at some point. So. Let's see here. We want to... I mean, he's getting a little hungry. I thought I had him get the corn on the cob off the floor, but I guess not. Maybe we can have him take a nice relaxing shower and I will throw this cup away. I gotta figure out what he had to do for money, you know. We spent a lot of money on this house, I guess. Um, so maybe he can, maybe he should write. Maybe he could be a writer. We do have a thousand eight hundred simoleons and it would make sense to just get a computer we'll get a like just a quick laptop i don't know it seems weird for him to get a laptop because his house is like he doesn't really have much but i think a laptop would be good for him i don't know though maybe we could just work with this How, what's the breakable reliability three reliability three let's just get this it's 800 though <laughs> like may as well just get a good one but is it good i think it's pretty much the same let's just get the 800 we just can't take it with us all right so that really ripped through a lot of our money but we can go ahead and write a genre book children's and we can like i don't know the little were wolf wolf this is a children's book sure <laughs> I think that'll be good. He can start off by writing just a simple little chil children's book and he can get a small amount of royalties every day. And obviously writing's good for him because he can just chill inside or outside. We probably should like get him an outside desk or something. Um, we'll have him go to sleep here soon. He seems to be halfway done with this book. I'm going to try to push him all the way. Uh, let's see when the full moon is. It's Saturday, but it's Tuesday. And then the next one won't be for a while until that Sunday. So it'll be a while. But it'll be fun when we get to it. Alright, so he's uncomfortable from a disappointing drink. That's okay, man. Like, I get it. I'm excited for his book to be done. And it looks like his writing skills almost leveled up. Um, we, we do need to change. We need to, like, paint, repaint his house, redo his roof. Just simple things like that. Okay, he can now self-publish books. So, okay, I think I need to click on the book. I always forget how this works. So, oh. Oh, I thought he had a werewolf book for a second. So we want to, can we not self-publish from the mailbox? Oh, there we go. Self-publish the little werewolf. He does need to go to the bathroom. We'll get that. Uh, Go to the bathroom. Do a savage poo. Looks like he's going to need to transform here soon. But... Before he does that, I kind of want him to plant some mushrooms. Just a few. Just four. So he has them always in his back yard. We'll probably get a garden box for them soon. But for now, we'll just leave it as, as is. But he is going to end up changing here soon. His fury is just simply too much. Okay. Maybe we water all of these. Just give him something to do to relax. Not worry about things. He is hungry, so we need to cook. 
Uh, let's see, vegetable dumplings. We'll do a single serving. And hopefully he doesn't change before he eats his food. <laughs> Come on now, let's see. All right, and he's cooking. He's level three of the cooking skill. I'm gonna have him clean that up. And I guess we can go, well, he's gonna transform soon. So I don't know if it's a good idea to go hang out with the crew. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's gonna be people here though, so it might be a good idea. So let's share photos. He had three simoleons from the werewolf book, which is, is good. Um, all right, so he can't talk to them, unfortunately. Let's see, maybe he can, okay, what else can we do? Um, travel to base. Let's see, I want him to come out here and like read this book, I guess. Let's have him do some more reading. It looks like he can resume these veggie burgers as well and maybe they'll taste good and maybe he'll really be into it. All right, can we can we read it again? Or will it be the same situation? Like, do we need to really... Probably need to really figure something out, like another clue to decipher that because we technically already read that. All right, but we finished up the veggie burgers, which is great. I'm gonna see if we can howl. There we go, and um, let's see, groom himself. I don't, the guy hasn't come back yet, Christopher. Do an impression with this guy, I guess. We do want to kind of get in to be friends with them. Hip bump. And, let's see. Ask about Moonwood Mill, maybe he'll have some interesting things to say. I met Christopher when I came here to unwind. I was tired of the, pardon the pun, dog-eat-dog -dog hustle of the city, and we became fast friends. He started talking to me about certain harmful stereotypes, how so many others see werewolves. Enough that I was intrigued. Okay. Oh, there he is. Uh, enthused about gardening. And talk about sunny weather. Oh, wait, where does Fury go? It just completely disappeared. Hmm. He did, definitely didn't change. Try to calm down. He's just really upset. Maybe we can cloud gaze and it'll make it all better. Maybe. Maybe. Are they going to cloud gaze? I don't think they're going to cloud gaze today. I don't think it's in the books. Well, it's worth a shot. <laughs> oh, he just wasn't in a good mood, you know. He's stomping off. It's fine. We'll catch him tomorrow. Um, he's over here just having a good time, though. I don't know why the fury just, like, went down or disappeared or whatever the heck happened. Um, I'm guessing this is his wife. I'm not sure. Every time the hunt grew difficult, Dolph's past propelled him forward. It was a past he didn't like to mention. A past that reached forward and cast its shadow on the present and future. A shadow that turned into a wall that kept everyone else out, turning him into the lone wolf detective he was, looking for answers only he could find. Okay, so let's go home. We've had a day. It's been adventurous. Uh, I'm pretty, well, maybe we should do a little fixing up of the house. Maybe that'll make him feel a little bit better. We'll have him sleep, but um, we're gonna hop into build by mode and we're just gonna fix up some things. It's not gonna be anything major because we obviously don't have money. Um, one thing I wanted to do was change the mailbox. He wants to give it a nice coat of paint, <laughs> a somewhat nice coat of paint. Um, so let's see here, we could do this one. And then, um, what else do we want to do? We want to fix the roof. I think that's kind of one of the number one things. So we got to get a roof with no holes in it. So I'm thinking, I know exactly what roof I want to get. We'll get this nice mossy roof. Uh, I don't know if that's the color I wanted to go for. I guess it is. I'm fine with that. Should I go more wooden or I guess that's fine. That's fine the way it is for now. And then, I mean, the siding is fine. It's, this is the same siding, right? Yeah, it's just two different kinds. I want to see if we got anything. I know we got a few walls with the pack, but yeah, they're just like brick. 
I mean, I kind of like what we have. Like, I think this is a good wall color. And I like having the two different colors. Do I want to have, like, this be a darker color? I think I like the blue. But do we want green, maybe? Nah, maybe we'll leave it blue. Let's see. I think it'll be fine to be blue. I just don't really... I don't know. I don't really like... I don't want to say I don't like the blue. I like the blue. I just don't know if it goes with what we're doing. Maybe a brown? Like, even a brown looks pretty good. I definitely want to change the brick as well. So maybe we prioritize changing the brick. Because we have, like, white accents, right? Um, we can do... Maybe I should turn on, like, move objects or something. Yeah, let's try that. And then, honestly, I just want to get some simple steps. I don't think we need to get anything too crazy. Like, the rough stone steps even might be fine. I don't know. It has the, the brick underneath of it. Uh, okay. Let's just get rid of that. Um, and then we want to get stairs, right? Or we want to get a little porch or something. Maybe we just get a little... <laughs> it's too big. No, that's not what we want to do. We got to get some stairs. And I just realized that these are different there. Okay, so we want to get... I don't... I just, like, the problem is I don't know what stairs we want to get right now. I mean, the stone's pretty cool. But does the stone like go with what we've got going on? I kind of want to do white stairs. That's actually not too bad because we got some white wood. Let's just make it a little bit more colorful. And then we got some stone under there. Thinking we can get... I need like a white paint. Not that. I mean, even that, that's fine. Um, just need, I need a white paint. Here we go. So like that, I don't know, kind of like it, <laughs> it's kind of okay. I gotta think about it, I guess. Um, maybe, I mean, we don't need to think about it, we could change it. There's more, maybe we should go blue, right? Because we have blue accents on the house or we could just go, okay, that's insufficient funds. We gotta be careful about what we're spending, I guess. We could just do white wood stairs like that. Which, what was the difference? This one's 21 and I think the other one was... Well, this one's just stone. Maybe we should go with the wood, though. Alright, let's go with that for now. Can I do a railing on it is the question? I can. Okay, cool. So that'll be nice when I want to figure out what I want to put there. I kind of would like to put something there now. I just am unsure what goes with the vibe here. We could go with the fencing that obviously is already there, but I don't think I want to do that. Honestly, I kind of might just want to do something very, very simple for now, just like this. I don't know. Do I want that? Let's, let's maybe come back to that. The good news is, is we finished the roof and that was kind of like the main thing we needed to do and then we'll come back and kind of do more as we go along and as we make more money he's going to need to write a couple books anyway i'm going to have him sleep it off and i think we're going to go ahead and end this episode here i want to thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe and i will see you next time